What the hell is that? Guards! Guards! Calm down, Smithy. I'm on your side. Our side? With a face like that? You think I'm stupid? Guards! Fool. If I had wished him ill, his bones would he now be crackling over the flames. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. I heard you managed to get back my equipment from the forge. I can't believe it. Do you have the hammer? Yes, I have your hammer. Here, you can put it to better use than me. Thank you. Finally, I can do something useful. All this battered and bent equipment is going to be superb again. At least our soldiers will die with dignity. You got a weird way of looking at things. Anyway, I've got some supplies I could sell you if you need anything. Excellent. Don't take this badly, but I have to get to work right away. Excellent. I have to go see the captain. See you later. Get your shit packed. We're getting out of here as soon as possible. Our contract is over. But Captain, after all we've done here... Listen to me. We have no chance against the Deadwalker army, no matter what powers you have. And I'm not sending my company into a massacre. I didn't lead the company here to save this city. The only reason we came was to get our lads back. There was never any question of anything else. God damn it, Captain. This is an important battle. You have to include the blades in it. There is a creature in the city that I have to face and absorb. If you can't understand that, then I guess it's time I took over your place. You wouldn't dare. You don't stand a chance against me. Really? Then by the laws of the Preborn Blades, I challenge you for the leadership of this company. you want, come and get some. I'm done with giving away free gifts.
You didn't leave me any choice. This was well done. Let us go and seek out Prince Arundel. We must make haste to plan our attack. an agreement on the assault we're going to launch. Very well. Our strategy will essentially depend on you and your companions. I'll be attaching a group of soldiers to your party for support. That's out of the question. The more of us there are, the greater the risk that will be noticed. I'm taking Edwin. Her knowledge and powers make her the best suited to go with me. I would very much like you to have someone I trust with you. And this Edwin does not seem like that person. Huh. She'll be delighted to hear that. I could go with you. You know that I'm stealthy and can make myself useful. That's a pretty good compromise. With the three of us, we stand a chance. What do you say, Your Highness? I agree. I'm counting on you, Relmar, to remember the interests of your people. The result of this battle depends on your success. You need to sneak into the city, get to the drawbridge, and lower it. Then you can open the gate for us. I will personally be leading our army, and I'll enter the city as soon as you've opened the gate. I think that the element of surprise and our advantage in numbers should be enough to overcome the dead walkers. Once the gates are open, I'm not sticking around. I'll have to use the diversion to get to Blackfrost's realm. Are you ready for the assault? There must be neither distraction nor setback. We won't have a second chance. If you have business to deal with, you should deal with it now. I'm ready. Just in time, Vulcan. I'm afraid I need your help again. What happened to you now? To me, nothing. It's about my people. Have you ever heard of the Stone of Souls? No. Worth a lot? No. I mean, yes. It's priceless, but it's, it's not for sale. Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. I'll explain. Every elf possesses a stone of souls, which contains the memories and emotions from all the greatest moments of his life. These stones are passed from generation to generation. It's a way of preserving the memories of our people, and of honoring our ancestors. With all of those who died at Carolthas, there are thousands of stones abandoned in the city. We cannot just leave them there. You are no doubt the one who will be traveling to our city the most. If you could bring back as many of them as possible, I'd be eternally grateful. Actually, all of my people will be in your debt. At least the ones who still live. All right, I'll take care of it. But don't expect to see me dancing around with a wheelbarrow full of rocks. That would, in fact, be an amusing sight. But I do get your meaning. Whenever you can, check the bodies of elves you come across and collect the stones. Even if we manage to save only a very few, we will at least preserve some of the memories of my people. I'll see what I can do. Let's change the subject. Let's move on. Edwin, I need to speak to you. What can I do for you? Thanks. Hey, Buffalo. I see nobody's managed to kill you yet. Not before I've seen you blown up by one of your toys.
How's the company doing? If you were to spend less time hanging around with your new friends, you'd know. It's not wine and roses. Already there weren't many of us, and now it looks like our only hope of success in this goddamn war is lying over there, colder than my granny's tomb. We can't last too long in this situation. The captain has to decide to make a move. I reckon the Deadwalker army will find us before we have the chance to desert. I'm going.
We're almost there. We have to head for that drawbridge.